the Constitution of India prescribes three branches of the central government. The legislature to make the laws, the executive to implement the laws and the judiciary to interpret the laws. Each branch of the government functions in different ways, but together they are responsible for running the entire nation. So, here is a question for you. Do you know which branch of the government the President of India is a part of? The President of India is a part of the legislature. You might have learned about the different branches of the government earlier. So, now let us explore the functions of the three branches of the government in order to identify the need for these political institutions. So, what are the three branches of the government? First, the legislature, which consists of the Parliament of India, amends and frames laws for the entire nation. Next, the executive, as the name itself suggests, executes or implements the laws. Finally, the judiciary interprets the laws, resolves disputes and also administers justice to its citizens. Now that we have discussed the role of each wing of the government, let us discuss the system of checks and balances in the Indian government. This system is needed to be sure that one branch of the government doesn't become more powerful than the others. To ensure this, the constitution prescribes a system of checks and balances. This ensures that there is a balance of power among the different branches of the government. Would it be good if all the political powers rested in the hands of one person or a specific group of people? No, not at all, since this would effectively make that ruler or group dictatorial. For this very reason, our constitutional makers didn't want all the powers be vested in the hands of an individual or group. Hence, they created the three branches of the government. What do these institutions do? In India, all the important policy decisions are taken by the Council of Ministers, headed by the Prime Minister. It is the civil servants who take the steps to implement the decisions taken by the ministers. And finally, the Supreme Court of India is an institution which interprets the laws and if a dispute arises, then it, as the apex court, resolves them. Let us assess what we have learned so far. 